you can see it a little bit even in, in, in uh, terms of decades where there was a decades where organizations were very much focusing on just automation things. The big ERP implementations were the IT topic of that time. Talking about procurement, there was then the decade of strategic sourcing, where e-procurement, e-sourcing became very popular. Spend cubes were there the biggest analytical work that we as AT Carney PS were doing at that time. And then we came into a situation where just doing the same tender again and again was not generating additional savings any longer. Obviously, because if you're not changing anything, where should the savings come from? This was exactly where we started to think about how can we get out of these restrictions? How can we do things different? How can we address systemic costs? Where we invented collaborative optimization as the solution for that. Now, do we stop there? Obviously not. And this is exactly where we're standing today, where we are extending the reach of collaboration and collaborative optimization into wider areas of an organization. Whether that is that we are challenging in a transportation event not only the suppliers who shall give us offers for the existing lanes, but we are questioning at the very same time, and we call that collaborative network sourcing, do we actually source the right things? Do we source the right lanes? Do we have the distribution centers where they should be? And opening the discussion from the silo view of an individual category going beyond that in order to come to a better overall optimization. The very same applies when we reach out and leave the procurement aspect and go into the marketing aspect. When you think about a retailer, for a retailer it is of a secondary priority how much he is spending for a certain SKU, for a certain product. Much more important for him is it how much money do I make if I list this product and not another one. Which has much more implications than just the price and the sales price you can sell it for, but the volume becomes all of a sudden an important element. How many of this particular product am I going to sell compared to taking the similar product from another competitor? This is where we are seeing more and more movements that we are combining marketing analytics with procurement analytics and we call that total value contribution optimization. The long-term vision is to have an optimization in place without boundaries, the boundaries within the organization and across the entire supply chain. If you would really think about long-term vision, you could think about that you want to optimize where do I get my raw materials from at what particular point of time during the year, how do I get them to which of my production sites to convert them into which particular products that I think are the most profitable ones for myself how do I route them through the distribution network towards my customers? And all this in an integrated optimization model. Why integrated? Because they do have implications with each other. They are not completely being optimized in silos. This is the long-term vision we are working on. Is a company already there yet? Nope, it is not. But it is going to happen and it's going to happen soon.